Hello everyone, my name is Muhammad Afifuddin. In this video, we are going to learn types of two-way slab, restrained slab, and unrestrained slab. So first of all, we will see types of two-way slab, and we know what is two-way slab is. The two-way slab are those in which the ratio of longer span to the shorter span is less than or equal to 2. That means the ratio of ly by lx is less than or equal to 2, then we call the slab as 2 way slab. Okay. In these types of slab, bending occurs in the both directions, and hence we are providing the bars in both directions. And there are two types of two way slabs. Number one is restrained slab and number two is unrestrained slab. So number one, restrained slab. When a two-way slab is loaded, the corner gets lifted up and these corners can be prevented from lifting by providing fixability at the support in terms of beams or in terms of walls. Okay, and such types of slab in which corners are prevented from lifting, they are called as restrained slab. And in these types of slabs, a special torsion reinforcement is provided at the edges. Why? To prevent the cracking of the corners. And these are called as slab with the corners held down. Okay. So, the Indian standard specifies two ways of providing fixity in case of restrained slab. The first one is the slab is supported on four edges by beam and slab and beam are casted monolithically. That means the slab and beam are casted at the same time. And number two is slab is supported on the edges by four walls and there are superstructure walls also above the slabs. When the corners of a slab are prevented from lifting, that is restrained slab, may be designed at that specified following okay number one is the maximum bending moment per unit width can be calculated by formula as we are dealing with the bending in both direction that is in shorter direction and longer direction therefore we have to calculate the maximum bending moment in both direction that is mux and muy okay so mux can be calculated by alpha x into w into lx square while muy can be calculated by alpha y into w into lx square okay where alpha x and alpha y are the coefficients w is the total load mux and muy are the moments on a strip of unit width spanning lx and ly respectively and what is lx and ly it is the length of LX, LX is length of shorter span and LY is length of longer span. And this formula for the maximum bending moment in both directions that is MUX and MUY can be obtained from annexer D of IS456 page, page number 90. And to calculate the bending moment coefficients that is alpha X and alpha Y for restrained slab the values are given in table number 26 of IS456, page number 91. Okay, so from here you can get the values of alpha x and alpha y. And here in table number 26, there are different types of panel and moments are considered. For example, first is interior panel, second is one short edge discontinuous, third one long edge discontinuous then two adjacent edges are discontinuous so these are the supporting conditions of the slab okay and from the ratio of ly by lx we can find out the value of alpha x and alpha y number two is slabs are considered as divided in each direction into middle strip and edge strip as shown in figure here you can see that the slabs is divided into uh, each direction into middle strip and edge strip okay and the middle strip being three quarters of the width and 
each edge strip is one eighth of the width. Okay, here you can see that middle strip for span LX is three by four into LY. And similarly here you can see that the middle strip is three by four into LX. Okay, and edge edge strips are LY by eight and here LX by eight. Okay, then number three is the maximum moment calculated in number one. That is, we have calculated MUX and MUY apply on the middle strips and no redistribution shall be made. Next, tension reinforcement provided mid span in the middle strip shall extend in the lower part of slab to within 0.25 into L of continuous edge or 0.15 L of discontinuous edge. Number five, over the continuous edge of middle strip, the tension reinforcement shall extend in the upper part of the slab at a distance of 0.15 into length frame of support. Okay, and at least 50% shall be extended at a distance of 0.3 into L. Okay, then number six is at this continuous edge, negative moment may arise and they are dependent on the degree of fixity. Okay, so in general, tension reinforcement is equal to 50% of that provided at a mid span, extending 0.1 into L into the span will be sufficient. Okay, so these are about restrained slab. Then our next type is unstrained slab. Okay, the slabs in which corners are not prevented from lifting are called as unrestrained slab or slabs with corners not held down. Okay, when a simply supported slab do not have adequate provision to resist torsion at the corner and to prevent the corner from lifting, the maximum moment can be calculated by this formula. And the formula is same, that is alpha x into w into rx square and muy is equal to alpha y into w u into Lx square, but the difference is the co bending coefficient can be obtained from table number 27 of IS 456. Okay, and here the table is given, so you can refer that. And here note is given that 50% of tension steel provided at mid span can be curtailed at 0.1 into Lx or 0.1 into Ly from the support. That means at least 50% of the tension reinforcement provided at a mid span should extend to the support and the remaining 50% should extend to within 0.1 LX or 0.1 LY of the support as appropriate. Okay, so here we have completed end conditions of two-way slabs. Thank you.